Hi there, this is Neil from Puzzling Parts and today I'd like to show you a puzzle that I've been uh, looking to review for quite some time. This is Lee Krasnow's barcode bar. Um, this is one that I borrowed from Derek Bosch, so thanks Derek for lending me this because I don't think I'd had a chance of playing with it otherwise. I'm a programmer to trade, so for me, um, this is a puzzle that I've been interested in for quite some time. The fact that someone could design a puzzle based on the binary numbering system to me was, was absolutely fantastic, so I was really interested in this. Um, I spent quite a bit of time getting this from Derek not being able to do anything with it at all. Uh, one of the interesting things is that uh, you know th this pretty much is locked up, there's, there's very little movement in it at all, and you kind of wonder how on earth does it move. Um, bizarrely, you, you move it by pushing the side panels, so uh, if I kind of hold that up, you'll see there's a corner panel in here which is now moved, pushing out this section. And the puzzle continues in that manner, um, actually with varying pieces moving in and out uh, as you go in a binary system. So effectively, you have to move the pieces in sequence to be able to open the puzzle. To be able to take the first piece out takes 64 individual moves. After that, the next piece takes 32, then 16, then 8, then 4, and then they pretty much fall apart. I'm not going to go through and show you the whole opening sequence um, because I wouldn't want to give away the solution. But I will say this is a wonderful, wonderful puzzle. I, I really enjoyed solving it. So thanks to Derek for lending it to me. This is Lee Krasnow's barcode bar. If you get the chance of buying one of these if it ever comes up at auction, I highly recommend it. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle. Incredibly well made and uh, a joy to play with. Uh, I can understand why Derek thinks this is one of his favourites in his collection. Thanks for watching.